Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, it's time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? No. We're ready for your report on the Tasmanian Devil. My report is on why the Tasmanian Devil is so uptight. Uptight? Yeah. I've never asked one about it because they eat first and answer questions later. But I think I've got it figured out. Oh, yeah? It's all to do with dentists. Dentists? Yeah. You see, Tasmanian devils never go to the dentist. They never brush their teeth, and they just love candy. Well, before you can say crocodile, they've got a toothache. And because they've got big, powerful teeth, they got a toothache the size of Montana. But do they go to the dentist? No. No. And to make things worse, there aren't many Tasmanian devil dentists to go see. In fact, there's only one Tasmanian Devil Dentist office, and it's so hard to find that even the Tasmanian Devil Dentists get lost. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. So when all the Tasmanian Devils get terrible toothaches from eating too much candy, they can't even get a Tasmanian Devil Dentist to help make them feel better. That would make any animal angry, but it makes Tasmanian Devils furious, and you wouldn't want to be around them when they're furious. They growl at everyone. So even the Tasmanian Devil Dentist doesn't want to go near them. Yeah, probably doesn't want to go near this story either. Hmm. All the dentist ever does is yell about how the Tasmanian Devil should look after their teeth better. But Tasmanian Devils don't care. They just eat more candy and brush their teeth even less. Which is why their teeth don't get any better. Which is why they get so mad. Which is why they're so uptight all the time. And that's straight from the lizard's mouth. You really think anybody's going to believe that? Hmm. Yeah. Time for the truth. Tasmanian devils do have big, powerful teeth. They can easily chew right through each other's bones. Amazing! And crunchy! So, by showing off their teeth, they discourage other Tasmanian devils from actually fighting. It's not to scare the dentist away. So, it's display and bluffing again. <sighs> Of all the weapons, I think horns rule. For many animals, just having weapons isn't enough. The bigger, the better, and the more they frighten the enemy. So you might not have to fight at all. I sure wouldn't fight this chameleon. Chameleon, Henry. Maybe I need bigger horns. Certain animals can take this to extremes. Trouble is, I can't lift my head. You've just discovered the big problem with big weapons. This is a Namibian sun spider, Henry. His special weapon is his oversized jaws. Don't tell me. This grasshopper is about to find out how they work. Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the desert. After it catches its prey, the extra sharp jaws cut and saw through it in next to no time. In proportion to its body, the sun spider has got some of the largest jaws in the animal world. It would be as if your jaw was as long as your arm. Imagine flossing those. How about having a weapon that's as long as your whole body, like this fiddler crab? First, jaws. Now, claws. The fiddler crab also relies on the size of his weapon to frighten away other crabs with smaller claws. Hey, they're jousting. Just 
like knights in armor. There's only one thing they like better than fighting. I bet I know. It's eating. They even eat while they fight. I can relate to that. Now, I know what you're going to say next. You do? Elephants use their tusks as weapons. Tusks are actually special, overdeveloped teeth. I'm impressed, Henry. That is what I was going to say. Elephants fight by interlocking tusks and pushing each other. With a 6,000-pound body, that's like pushing a bus. His horns can be up to four and a half feet long, almost as big as he is. Second place silver goes to the three-horned Jackson's chameleon. Unfortunately, Jackson could not be here to collect his award this evening. Get on with it. But my golden gecko award for the all-time best amazing animal weapons goes to the Siamese fighting fish. Male Siamese fighting fish have sharp little teeth set in tough jaws. They're not monstrous weapons, but the fish sure uses them a lot. They can't stand the sight of any other males anywhere near and will always fight, even if the other guy is bigger and stronger. They tear at each other's fins and rip them to shreds. The loser is the one who has all his fins torn off. Not only does he lose the fight, but he won't be able to attract any females without his beautiful fins. Eventually, one male will accept defeat and swim off into the sunset to lick his wounds and wait till his fins grow back. Then it's back to the battle pond! Henry, want to hear a secret? Sure. This jungle nymph has a secret weapon. On the back of its legs are some sharp spines that can cause an unsuspecting predator serious damage. Wow! Guess what? I've got a secret weapon, too. Presenting the ultimate fighting machine! Watch! Are you sure that thing's safe? Sure! What could possibly go wrong? Yikes! Lots of animals have secret weapons that are a bit more predictable than your robot, Henry. This aardwolf uses his own special smell to mark out his territory. It doesn't hurt anyone, but simply warns other aardwolves to stay away from his patch. Excuse me! I think I'll be staying away, too. It's just a kind of chemical weapon that helps to prevent fights. But chemical weapons are also aimed at the aardwolf. Termites are its favorite food. But some of the termites are well equipped to defend their mound. Ready! Aim! Fire! Excuse me, that's aim azing. The pistol shrimp has a good aim as well. Don't point that thing at me. Don't worry, Henry. His secret weapon is sound. He makes a loud bang by snapping his claws together, like the sound of a gun firing. The loud noise stuns his prey, giving him time to catch it. Or not. Although most animals try to avoid fights, they can still break out anyway. 
These elk will battle for hours to try and determine who's boss. Hours? Isn't that a bit excessive? It's the same with animals like giraffes, only they can go on all day. All day? Come on, fellows. All we are saying is give peace a chance. By the time it's over, they'll both be tired, but hopefully not badly hurt. Take it easy, guys. All this fighting is kind of dumb. So, now you think fighting is dumb? Uh-huh. So the duck detachment can return to base. Uh, sure, that's right. No more fighting for me. I'm gonna be nice and get along with everyone. Place. Um, anyway, n now what was I saying? That weapons have a uh -huh. place in the animal world. Uh huh. But they're not a game. Right. I'm gonna contemplate peace while I take a nice warm bath. Good idea, Henry. And leave all the weapons to those amazing animals. <laughs> <laughs>